African girl got the spice, she got, got it. it Caribbeans, Jamaicans, I got a message She can be my brown skin queen, oh Brown skin girl, skin just like mine Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you read the title of that video, you know exactly what we have been waiting for. And today is the day. We are officially filming our furnished apartment tour. And I'm super excited because I've been waiting almost a month to do this video. And I would say everything's pretty much how we want to do it, give or take like a few like pictures and things like that. But other than that, we definitely have every piece of furniture that we need. So. With that being said, let's go ahead and get right into this video. All right guys, so we are going to be starting our fabulous tour in the living room. Okay, so right when you walk in the door, the door's right here, you walk. This is our TV stand. We actually got this TV stand from Ikea. Most of our stuff is from Ikea, but I'll be sure to let y'all know where everything is from in case you're curious. So we have this TV stand from Ikea, the doors, just pop open. We obviously have junk in there, but so yeah, there's three different doors. It's really low. That's basically the vibe we were going for. Um, we have these two decor books. <laughs> we have these two decor books that I made myself using literally old books, paint, and Cricut vinyl. Okay. On top of that, I just have a reed diffuser and chain links that I actually painted myself. They didn't come in the right color, so I ended up painting those. Okay, so we have this clear. How it do? Yeah, we have this clear. What you call it clear? Like acrylic. That is glass. This is like glass. Okay, we have this glass chest set. This is Jemin's. He brought this. It's really pretty. So I definitely think that tied in the two other pieces of decor that we had on the side. And of course, I had to bring my pompous. I'm obsessed with pompous. If you can kind of see the vibes that we were going for, it's definitely like more modern. So I have the bubble candles. I got these on sale from Hobby Lobby. They say $6.99, but I got them 50% off. And there's actually three of them that I bought, but I only have two in the living room. Coasters, because you can't sit your cup down on anything but a coaster. And then I think I, wait, I got the coasters maybe from Ross or TJ Maxx, and then I got this particular vase from TJ Maxx. Okay, so we bought this, how many inches is it? 70. Okay, we bought a 70 inch TV because the other one was just too small. The other one that we had was a, what was that one? 32? It was not 30, I thought it was like 50. No, it was that 30. one in there is like 32 or 40 inches. Maybe. Okay, so the original one we had was obviously less than 70, so. We got this one, figured out how to mount it, and here it is, all together. Okay, so moving over here, we have Echoes. If you don't know who Echo is, come here, Echo. Come here. Oh, I was trying to try to go in there. This is Echo. Wanna zoom in on Echo? Here, Echo, this is your moment. This is Echo. Super sweet. But this is, this corner was sponsored by me. Oh, this was my idea. We actually had a different pin. This one is, what would you call it? This one's more of a crate. I originally had a pin picked out for her, but she kept escaping. I'll definitely make sure to insert a picture so you can see what I'm talking about. The one that like doesn't have a top, that's what we had at first. And we had to switch to a crate, but not only a crate, we had to switch to zip tying the crate because the girl kept escaping. So, we got together now though. So. She has her crate, she has a black bed, ordered off Amazon, she has a brown blanket from Walmart. Okay, from Walmart, and of course it had to match oh, the aesthetics. She doesn't hate being in there, so that's good. Yeah, <laughs> I had to make sure the bed and the blanket matched the rest of the living room because I knew this is where her pin or crate was gonna go. And then these little foam pieces on the bottom. Yeah, these little foam pieces that are on the bottom. I got these from Hobby Lobby. And originally they were at the bottom of the pin, but they work out fine here, so. And then I got her this super cute water and food bowl. I think I originally imagined the food and water bowl going closer to the kitchen, 
which is why I did it more of the kitchen aesthetic, but it still like works out in here. So this is her food and water. Obviously it doesn't need to go inside the crate, so it just stays right here. We definitely added, it's like dark because the light's behind me, but anyway, sorry guys, so dark. But we definitely added our own curtains and curtain rod. And I feel like this actually puts the room together because without it, originally there was just these, these little blinds. Yeah, that was a no. So these now stay pushed to the back and then we just, you know, maneuver the curtains however we see fit. Okay, so this is probably my favorite piece in the entire living room. The lamp, it is so, it's, I feel like it's bigger. The, the camera isn't doing it justice. It's actually a lot bigger in person. It's a tripod. I think that's what it's called, a tripod lamp. I got this one off of Amazon too, I believe. But yeah, I love this lamp, it's so pretty. Okay, so moving on to the the main event here. We have the couch. It's a pretty small couch, but I like it because the space isn't super big. So I think the way that the couch worked out is perfect. So you can see like how like big I am in comparison to the couch. Here we go. We went with the the couch is beige, and then I went with like a creamish beige color for these pillows and then black because obviously the um the living room is like black beige you know a little bit of taupe i got a taupe color blanket i don't know if y'all can tell it is a little bit dark but anyways coffee table where did i get the coffee table i think i got the coffee table from amazon surprisingly it matched perfectly with the ikea tv stand i went with something real simple it has this hole in the bottom <laughs> yeah so it's really simple probably the easiest thing to put together okay yeah so this was from Amazon the couch was from Amazon I got the pillows from Amazon and I'm pretty sure I got this blanket from Amazon too so the whole living room is also from Amazon not really but you know <laughs> oh we didn't do okay so if we come over here we have our entryway table Okay, yeah, so we have an entryway table, very similar to the TV stand, also from Ikea. They pop open, and here we just store things like our shoes, because you're not allowed to wear shoes in here, so. So this is a cabinet, cabinet, drawer, drawer. I love this. So I have this little basket, and this basket is like Echo stuff. Um, it has things like our treats her wipes for her feet because after she comes in for going to the bathroom every single time we have to wipe her feet off like her leash is in here her brush all that stuff all that stuff our keys just kind of get thrown over here this is the decor so i just have a little bit different kind of pumpus this pumpus is more like feathery but i have this black pumpus in this clear and white vase my acrylic i don't even know if this is acrylic but it's clear tissue box Another reed diffuser, Min Jamin's engagement book, and then the little beaded rope. Okay. All right. Okay, so now we're going to maneuver into the kitchen area. We're going to start right here with our bar table because we knew in the dining room area that we were not going to do a full like dining set because why? And so we went with this. As you can see, it literally just it takes up a lot less space. It fits in the corner. We got bar stools to go with it. And it's perfect for like guests and things because it keeps the mess in one place. Okay. Our trash can. It's cute, isn't it? Um, our refrigerator. Here's our refrigerator. Y'all, I'm definitely gonna put a before after picture of the kitchen because we wrapped this refrigerator. I say we, me. I wrapped this refrigerator myself um, with absolutely no help. It did come out perfect because like the refrigerator does have like these weird like boop boops, you know, the little weird corners, but I bought stainless steel wrap, contact paper. And so it's literally just gonna peel right off when it's time for us to move out. But yeah, I like the look of stainless steel better than all black. So that's why we did that. All right, come along, come along. All right, so this is the kitchen. 
you know, I honestly don't think it's a bad space. I took the time, just like for the refrigerator, and wrapped every single cabinet. These cabinets all were originally all brown, ugly, so we made them all black. We kept things like the, the hardware, you know, the handles and stuff are the same. I almost changed them, but I was like, let me not do too much. So, yeah. This is where I keep my everyday, I don't know what to say everyday essentials, but <laughs> coffee I feel like is an essential, not for me, but for Jamin. Sugar is definitely an essential and brown sugar. As you can see, I like my little labels. Here's my little labels. A lot of things in this kitchen are labeled. There's a little, open it, there's a little scoop. Hopefully y'all can see, yeah. Each of them have their own little scoop. Yeah. If you like to more know more, okay. like to more know more about the labels and how I did all that and where I got the labels, be sure to check out. I think it was my last, my last video for sure. Okay, so that's that side of the sink. This side of the sink is um, the coffee station, I guess. We have a coffee pod holder right here. Dang. Gemma's the coffee drinker, not me. So there's just a bunch of different flavors and things. We have the Keurig that does both like regular pot, potted, that does regular potted coffee and then also like pods. This is definitely where I would be on this side. Pods, we have our knife holder right here. This is my frother, you know, for my greens and things. I bought this like a year ago and I specifically bought it in black because I knew we were gonna be moving. Here's the knife holder. It just sweetly, discreetly goes back there. Here's just a pot, not a pot. What is this called? A canister. Here's just a canister of more kitchen utensils. I don't typically use these. And I'm actually thinking about changing this canister to be like more wood, like, like this soap dispenser and this brush. This brush you cannot use. This brush is for decor purposes only. But I'm thinking about changing it. What do y'all think? But just, oh, <laughs> the, just like the refrigerator, I rewrapped the dishwasher. The dishwasher came out pretty good, like pretty perfectly actually. So yes, um, wait, yeah. So I did the dishwasher, but I also did the stove. Put it down, yeah. So the stove is wrapped as well. I actually really like the stove. A lot more than I thought I would. It cooks really good considering that it has the coal tops. I was a little skeptical, skeptical about that because I never really cooked on a cool top. I always had the glass tops, but it actually cooks pretty good. So we have our toaster and then our microwave is on this side. There's plenty of cabinet storage, just, you know, storage on this side. Storage on both sides of the stove, storage on this side of the dishwasher. All the cabinets go all the way across on both sides. <laughs> okay. All right, now let's get into the laundry room. Oh, oh we're gonna light it on start. Everywhere's just so dark. Okay, this was a genius idea. I know. I hung the broom up on the door. Genius. I know. All right, so I mean, it's so a pretty. I don't want to say standard because this is a lot more space than I was anticipating having for a laundry space or room for an apartment. I think this is great. 10 out of 10 because you also have room to put stuff up and down these shelves. So we keep paper towels, the air fryer, cleaning supplies. This is obviously the more laundry side, and tissue and stuff like that. So <laughs> yeah, I think everything in here turned out really good. Now we're going to move on to Jamin's office area. What do you want them to see, Jamin? The vacuum computers? I don't care what they see. Okay, so this is Jamin's office area, his desk set up here, a whole bunch of monitors. I'm so glad that we went with the like the biggest desk. This desk is the the like Alex IKEA desk that everyone has, but he has the biggest version. So I think that works out perfectly because now he's able to fit 
all his hobbies and work on one disc. Okay? This goes to the kitchen so he gets snacks. Okay. Should we do the bedroom? Yeah. Okay. All right, so moving along to the bedroom. Okay. The one thing I do love about the bedroom is bright with the window. Um, one thing I do love about our bedroom is that the colors that we picked, gray and white, and then accents of gold, makes it super airy and light. So it doesn't feel like cramped and crowded in here. All right, come on in. Okay, let's start with my side. You should have cleaned your side. I thought I did. <laughs> Here's my side. Here's my nightstand. Again, move this. Ikea, Ikea nightstand, just has two drawers. I have a oil diffuser, lamp, a catcher to hold all my jewelry that I take off, and just a water bottle. That's it. I'm not even gonna show y'all Jem inside, so. <laughs> it looks like mine, but not as good. So this is our TV stand situation here. We actually were gonna mount the TV in this room, but then by the time we built this, Big old thing, we were like, it's eye level, it's perfect, we're good. So this dresser, also from Ikea, we got the biggest one, I think, which um, low-key didn't work out for the space, but we weren't gonna return it, and we needed the bigger drawers. As you can see, well, we scooted it over. It's not centered, it kinda comes off a little bit here into the closet, but it's fine. It really doesn't matter that much because we don't care much about closing the closet door. I mean, I kept the decor real simple in here. So this was something that was in my old office. Both their names start with a J. It makes sense. And then my precious little balloon dog. Super cute. It actually came in a different color and I had to spray paint it gold. And then on this side, I just have this little tray, a candle. That smells like black sand and cashmere. I know you were wondering. A little vase. This one is clear and white. I have more of the feathery type of pompous in here. And then a picture frame that I do plan on putting a picture in guys. I just haven't decided on the picture. All right, this is our fancy bed. The bed, I'm pretty sure, not IKEA. We got the bed from Amazon. And something cool about this bed is it's an, a hydraulic bed. Cause I did want a bed with storage. I was looking for a long time with a gray vertical tufted bed like this that had the drawers, you know, at the bottom. Couldn't find that. So we ended up getting one that has hydraulic. So it literally lifts up and then we can like keep stuff down there. We don't have a lot down there right now. Right now we just have like sheets and then <laughs> my hair stuff. So my extra hair stuff is down there. And this is Echo's bed, gray to match the theme, of course. Okay, and then let's come over here to the closet. Really nice walk-in closet. Um, this side is mainly Jamin's stuff, and this and this is mainly my stuff. Besides the bottom, the bottom is where we keep our shoes. This is where we keep like, like socks and stuff like that. And these two containers, we got our dirty clothes baskets. If you come in really close, this is how our shoe organization situation is looking. I bought both of us very similar ones. So they just like pop open, you put your shoes in, pop it back close. And I have a lot of shoes, so actually all my shoes don't fit in there. So I had to keep some in my office. All right, let's move to the bathroom. Alrighty. Hmm. So this is the bathroom. I guess you consider this the master bathroom. It is connected to our room. So yeah, I like the color black. So that's kind of the thing we have going in here. Everything's pretty much black. Our curtain, this little bin here just keeps all of my lady necessities and flushable wipes. If y'all don't use flushable wipes, I don't, I don't know if we could be friends, honestly. So, flushable wipes, 
We have a soap dispenser. I got the automatic one because bougie, you know. Um, I got, where did I get that? Let me, let me backtrack. I got the soap dispenser from Walmart. Okay. I got this LED light from Five Below and it lights up. Not that I do my makeup, but if I were to, I have a light. So then in this little corner, I have this wooden tray. Oh, my toothbrush is supposed to be on there. My toothbrush, Jimin's toothbrush, my little wooden tray, and then I have my little jars filled with things. Um, actually, with these cotton swabs, these are ones that nobody's allowed to use. These are just for decor purposes only. We do have regular ones, but I wasn't gonna keep buying the more expensive kind. So, do we have cotton balls? Pretty standard, and then we have cotton rounds. So, cause I like sometimes I like to use cotton balls, and sometimes I use, like to use the rounds. This is just our mouthwash in this little, con this, ooh, don't want to break it, in this glass thing. And then pompous, of course, with a black face. Okay, perfect. Okay, so if you look right here, I don't know if I have a before and after of the bathroom. I should have took before pictures before I wrapped everything, but I wrapped the cabinets, drawers, and doors and things in the bathrooms as well. And here for this one, we picked like a wooded, wooden print. So I think originally, yeah, originally they were all brown, just like the kitchen. So that was a go fly with me. So we went ahead and changed it to this. And then you can see here where I wrapped the drawer and then the cabinets at the bottom as well. All right, and that's pretty much it for the bathroom. Nothing too interesting. All right, let's make our way to my office. I definitely think this is the best room in the house. Let's go ahead and get into it. All right, let's start right here. Let's start right here. When you walk in the door, the first thing you see is my gumball machine. And if you've been with me a long time, this should look real familiar because it is the one that came from my bedroom at home. I spray painted it, spray painted it white to match and then added gold gumballs instead of the multicolor one. Okay, I got a acrylic side table um i think i originally wanted it to be an actual side table but there was no space but i think it works out here then i have my little picture of princess when she was a baby and then my fake plant of course because we don't do real plants around here okay so right here i actually finally have a tv in my office guys okay so this is the tv that i got from my bedroom at home Jamin so kindly mounted it for me. This should look familiar to some of you. This is my cubicle from home. Um, I did the top um, a little, by a little, I mean a lot, a lot differently. This is where I keep my jewelry kind of displayed. This is mainly my necklaces, oops. My necklaces and then anklets. Jewelry box, another jewelry box. I actually got this one when we moved in. Like the day we went to the store because I knew I needed more than just this, but this worked out perfectly. Got it from Ross. I got this one for Christmas. Got this for Christmas. And so these are just like my favorite rings. And then as well as these two. Yeah. Cubicle. I have junk in here. Junk in here as well. This is mainly like my camera, tripod kind of stuff on that side. And then right here is just some notebooks and books that I find necessary. Okay, let's move on to the best part, my desk. I thought one of those was supposed to be from my, office, from my desk. Or from this my... is the one I originally bought. Oh, I ordered okay. us two more. Okay. What? I thought they came in and you just used them in here. I was like, oh, I need one of those. Okay, anyways, they look like this. I just ordered the same. Okay, so my desk, definitely my favorite part. Um, I put a lot of attention to detail in this desk. Let's start with the chair. I've wanted this chair for a very long time. Jimmy bought me this chair before we even moved out. So shout out to Jimmy. It's super comfy, super cute. Put it down so you can see the legs. The legs are gold. Perfect. Um, I actually have two desks. So I have, they're both the Ikea Alex desk. So there's this side and then there's this side. This one only has one drawer and then it has the leg and then this side has both the drawers. But anyways, 
you come closer, you can see all of my little desk decor and how they kind of tie in together. I have the J, everything's like acrylic and gold as you can see, even the pins, stapler, the coaster. I haven't put tape on this yet, y'all, but the tape holder, the calendar, the other calendar. I need to find a better place to put this. I'm not sure about it yet. I have another picture of Princess, my pride and joy. Um, a hole puncher. Hopefully you've seen this in my other video, but this little acrylic piece that Jamin bought me years ago. Another J, and then boom. Paper clips. I think I want to put uh, sticky notes right here, but I haven't gotten them yet. So sticky notes, and then just a paper junk holder, and then the mouse pad. So yeah, boom. Everything just comes together. And look at that. I'm actually deciding. So at home, I have these pictures hanging up. Obviously, these are my Just Jare illustrations done by your girl herself. Y'all need to make sure y'all go check it out at www.justjarestudio.com. But I think I'm going to take them down, honestly. I think I want to do something a little bit different on this wall, this whole wall. I think I want to do like inspirational quotes and things, something that ties along with the black gold white acrylic kind of look i think i'm gonna do that instead but i haven't found the perfect piece so we're just hanging in there with that for now so this side is going to be where i play with my cricut and my heat press where i used to work that's basically what i did i did a lot of t-shirts for them they had a cricut so i used their cricut but i knew i was moving so i bought my own and then i bought my own heat like i haven't even used it yet but i bought my own heat press too because i just want to make shirts for myself honestly it wasn't for me to like do anything special with i just want to make shirts for myself okay so yeah i have lots of cricket mats i have literally haven't used any of this so i still have the three normal ones and then these two if you've been here before you know how we feel about the clothing rack she definitely came along with us with all of our things on there i have this <laughs> try not to be in it mm -hmm. I have this full body mirror now. This was definitely, your toes are in it. <laughs> this was definitely much needed because I did not have a big mirror in my old office. So yeah, I'm super excited about this y'all. Like look how, what? I saw myself in it. Did you really? Yeah. Oh, Jimin's right there. He's sitting. They can see your feet and your legs. <laughs> okay, but yeah. Here we are with the full body mirror, and this is where I just keep my ring light. Okay, you guys get up. Here, you can take it now. So they can see me. That's fine. I have my IKEA shelves that were originally in my old bedroom. I just kind of moved them into the office. I think they make more sense. I have all my cute little trinkets on there. I'm thinking about adding some things, changing some things. Oh, look at me, look at me. Let me show you all the best part. I have this Jordan candle. It smells like vanilla. Who you know? Back up, back up. Who you know got a Jordan candle? I mean, it's an actual candle. I could burn it, but I don't want to mess it up. So I don't plan on ever using it, but it's super cute. Here's that other bubble one I was telling y'all about. So those go here. I got, brought the sign, y'all know. We're not official unless we have our sign and our grass wall. Um, I've noticed that every other room in the house has like, like browns, like pompous kind of florals and I decided to do like greenery inside the office. So, and we have our brand new luxurious Wayfair couch. You know, in my old office I had the, the futon, but now we have upgraded to our nice luxurious couch that i'm gonna be filming on and y'all look i got a custom pillow that says just your studio and has my secondary logo on there super cute um one of a kind on this side i have a pillow that one of my teammates got me when i graduated from college and she literally said it's from when i got my big girl place so if you're watching this baby i'm using my pillow then we have this side. 
very similar to the other side y'all I had to really find like more like little trinkety things to put on here because I wasn't gonna put as many shoes on the shelves because I kept most of them in the closet. So I'm gonna have to find some more stuff. I think this one's probably my favorite. This um, letter board with the, the jack and the crown. What a combo. Okay. And then this is just the closet, honestly, y'all. There's nothing too interesting in here. I just keep a bunch of, let me look. I just keep a bunch of junk. This is like where, I guess you call it the coat closet. Like the door barely opens because I have my other bags and purses here, but yeah. This is just where we keep like our hoodies and our coats and stuff like that. Extra storage, extra shoes and clothes go on the bottom. So that's really it for that. All right, so this is the second. It's really at my chin, Damon. <laughs> okay guys, so this is the second bathroom. It literally looks just like the first bathroom, but white. Let's take a look. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, I actually really like this bathroom. It, it gives me it gives me cozy hotel vibes. Oh, scared me. That was a bug on me. It was my hair. Okay, it's still attached. Okay, the vibes are definitely wood and white. Um, not too off track, but just a little bit different than everything else. Um, so I got the wooden tray. I just have some face tiles rolled up. No, these are not usable. Don't use them. We have cut the same as the other one. We have cotton swabs, but you can use these ones because these are just white. Cotton swabs, cotton balls, and then cotton browns. And then I have a little plant right here. And then on this side, I bought this tray. If y'all was watching the videos, you know exactly where it's from. That say, no, I, so I got the tray. And then I have the lotion dispenser as well as the hand soap dispenser with the labels, of course. Um, we just have a simple, it's a simple white shower curtain. And then we have a bamboo, you know, stick it with the thing. We have a bamboo step out mat instead of just like a regular rug. And then we have our hand drying tiles here. Um, I didn't even want to here. And then as you can see with this one, we wrapped the ugly brown with white, just plain white contact paper so that it matches, honestly. No other reason. So it matches and that's cute. So this is what we have so far. I think it looks, so I didn't know what was in there. When did you put that in there? You mean you added all that Vaseline to the top? Oh, <laughs> okay. So yeah, we kept the hardware and all that stuff the same. So yeah, this is the, so yeah, this is the guest bathroom. Okay, lastly, we have the whole closet. It's honestly um, not that organized, only a little bit. Yeah, so let's just, let's just see. It actually has a lot of space. So we love that. Let's start over here on the side that's cute. Let's start with how I put in this um, motion sensor light back there because it was dark. Um, I got these bins. Y'all definitely need to go watch my last video because we, we break it down in the last video. The bins, the labels, all that. I got the bins from Dirt Cheap. I don't know if everyone has a Dirt Cheap, but it's a store. That's like an um, overstock store. So they had a bunch for like two for a dollar. Got those, got the labels, made the labels. So this is um, a bunch of toiletry stuff, and this is where we keep the bathroom tiles. Yeah, we only have gray, white, and black. So if you like any other color towel, you're gonna have to bring your own. Um, this shelf is pretty chaotic, except for this. This looks nice. The medicine, the medicine bin here. I don't really know what to do with this shelf. Honestly, I could do like a big basket. That's what I'm thinking, one big like woven, or black maybe. I don't know, a big basket to put all this stuff in. But it's just like, just stuff, like light bulbs, we have an iron, a steamer, a massage gun, first aid kit. Uh, we keep our luggage and backpacks and things all the way down here. That's gonna be fixed once I can empty out my big suitcase. So we'll, this, will, this will get better. We have extra storage bins, our handy dandy vacuum, Jemin's tool bag, and yeah, that's really it. <laughs> Nothing too interesting besides this part. So just really look over here if you come over. Eyes to the left. All right. 
I don't know where I want to close out. Let's come in here. It's brighter. Okay, guys. I think that is it for today's furnished apartment tour. If there are any updates or any other like little things that I'll add, I'll be sure to like kind of make it into either like a YouTube short, a reel, a TikTok, something of that sort. So y'all need to go make sure you follow me on all my social media platforms so you don't miss a beat, honestly. So yeah, y'all let me know what you think. If you have any questions about where I got something from, be sure to either, you can DM me, you can comment below, you can really do whatever you want. Just let me know and I will get that information to you if I can. Hopefully I can. I kind of remember where I got things from, but yeah, this is our our very first apartment and it is furnished. I've been planning for years, y'all. So hopefully y'all think the look came together because I think everything came together very nicely. Super grateful, feeling super grateful and blessed. And we're just so happy to be here. Okay. Well, thank y'all so much for watching today's video. Thank you for tuning in. And as always, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Say brown skin girl, don't you know you're beautiful? Yeah, melanin, just so short about.